Okay, uh, Steve Lynch here in Newcastle, Delaware. We're going to talk about art and sculpture today. Obviously, I'm a stone sculptor. Uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the elements of art. Uh, for instance, color and, and contrast. And why this is important uh, when you're working on a piece of art is that, and particularly stone, in the area of contrast and color, sometimes what we're working on, the subjects of the competition, uh, con the, excuse me, the composition and competition, compete, and sometimes the subject matter can get lost within the medium. Uh, by that I mean uh, they can kind of wash out. Now what I'm doing here uh, is interesting because what I'm what I'm doing is I'm actually kind of disguising part of this medium which is actually uh, New Mexico limestone. So and what I'm doing here is I'm actually using a water-based wood stain. Uh, in this case it happens to be uh, vintage cherry wood and I'm kind of washing this in and the reason that I'm doing this is because there's going to be more to this composition than uh, than I originally wanted. I, I thought that the medium would uh, provide enough light and shadow uh, to uh, give the subject matter life. In this case it's the snakes and uh, these snakes are eventually going to have uh, jewels, uh, faceted and unfaceted uh, cabochons uh, made of garnet. So we want a good mix of color. We want these colors to complement each other. Another reason, and if you can follow me around here, you can see the nice contrast. You can actually see the life of the snakes and the bend of the snakes coming, uh, coming to life here uh, at this point. But now if she comes over to this side, and begins to look at the stone, what happens? Well, actually the, the snakes, uh, they lose light. They actually start, you know, uh, blending into the stone itself. And there's really not enough light and shadow uh, to make these snakes pop. So my intention here is to have a composition that actually fully highlights the idea of the composition, which in this case would be the snakes, of course, crawling all over the, the egg, symbolizing the world. But if I didn't have uh, employ the elements of art, which would be uh, color and contrast, uh, then you wouldn't see so much out of the light and shadow. And it would begin to lose its, uh, its validity as a composition, uh, its integrity as a composition. So this is what we want to do sometimes. We actually sometimes might even want to just like confuse uh, the medium. In this case, New Mexico limestone. And you can see here it almost looks like cherry wood. That would be the stain underneath. And so we're giving this composition life by using a couple of elements of art, contrast and color, which are going to better aid light and shadow in bringing this to life. So. Uh, again, I'm Steve Lynch, Newcastle, Delaware, and I just wanted to take this moment to uh, highlight some of the things we might want to do with elements of art. Uh, and sculpture is no different. Uh, we don't always have to uh, say that sculpture, uh, stone sculpture, should look like stone. Sometimes we want to have that mix. Uh, to uh, enhance the compositional value. Okay, this is Steve Lynch, Newcastle, Delaware, 2017, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic art and fun-filled day. Cheers.